my name is Janko Přiva, I'm with the SANS Internet Storm Center and today we're going to take a look at a vulnerability in Windows through which we might discover or brute force contents of any folder on the file system even though we might not have any access permissions for that specific folder. I've discussed this vulnerability, it's a CWE203, information disclosure through discrepancy, in one of my diaries earlier this year, but today we're going to take a look at a video of how it works. Let's jump right in. Here we are in my Windows 10 virtual machine. If we take a look, I'm logged in as an unprivileged user, like literally. Now, what secrets does the C drive hold for us? We will find that there is a folder named secret. Well, that's definitely something we want to take a look at. Unfortunately, we can't. We don't have the necessary permissions to access this folder to read its contents. But here comes the interesting behavior which actually causes the CWE203 in Windows. Windows will give us different error messages when we try to browse to change directory into a subfolder in the secret folder which exists and in a subfolder which doesn't exist. And it will do so even when we try to change directory to a file. We may actually show this quite easily. If I try to browse to secret slash abc, I know that such folder doesn't exist because I actually prepare the secret folder, but for our intents and purposes, this is actually an indicator that no file named abc or folder named abc exists in the secret folder. To show you something that exists so we may actually compare them, I know that there is a file named secret.txt. Access is denied. Windows found that specific path, that specific file, and tells us that we can't access it. If we try to do the same with secret.doc, since no file of this name exists on the drive, it will tell us that it can't find it. It's actually quite cool and really simple. We might actually write a fairly straightforward brute forcer, which would be able to guess lots of names of files inside folders using similar mechanism as is commonly used to brute force names of folders or files on websites. Well, this is it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little demonstration and I'll see you some other time.